In today's video, I will share what I believe are the 10 best free car models available online right now. After hours of research and testing, I have handpicked the top ones for you. I will guide you step by step on how to download, import these cars into Blender, and even rig and animate them like a pro. And at the end of this video, I will reveal my top 3 picks. Let's start with pick number 10, this Porsche 911 by the Lion Sharp Studios. To download this car, the best is to install the Sketchfab add-on. I will put the link in the description. You create your free account on Sketchfab. You install the add-on in Blender. So edit, preferences. Here you click on install from disk. And the plugin file you have downloaded should look like this one. You click on install from disk, you go on Sketchfab, and you enter your email and password. That's it, you're ready to go. Here in the search bar, you search for Porsche 911, and you click on this little icon. Normally, it should be the first one. You select this, I will delete my default cube, and you click on import model. And boom, this car is yours. Let me delete this plane, we don't need it. Let's test its quality with the HDRI. I will use my new add-on HDRI Magic for that. So I click on HDRI Magic. You will find the link in the description. With this add-on, you can easily integrate your assets in a HDRI with just one click. So I go in HDRI Magic, I select the HDRI. So I click on this little icon, I go in HDRI. And by the way, all those HDRIs are free. You can find them on polyheaven.com. I select this one, accept. I click on make DOM and before I show you the result, let's see how it looks without the add-on. So this is a normal HDRI, the car is uh, floating in the air, it's not really sexy. <laughs> now I click on make DOM and boom, you have a proper ground for your car. So it looks like it's in the scene. Let me scale it, so I will use this uh, parking to scale my car, Let me press 1. Move it on the ground. And voila, I think we can confirm that this Porsche is truly beautiful and deserves to be in this video. And don't forget that I will show you how to rig and animate those cars later in this video. Number 9, this BMW M5 by AMG Viz. This car is on Blender Kit, so like we did for Sketchfab, you need to install the add-on. You create your free account, you download the add-on, and you install it in Blender like we did for the Sketchfab add-on. You go in File, Preferences, Install from disk, and you will have the Blender Kit add-on that you have downloaded. Then you press N on your keyboard, and here you will have the Blender Kit add-on. You click here on Login, you Login. It will ask you to Login on your browser. You click on Login and Authorize, and that's it, you will have your profile activated. From there, in this search bar, you type BMW M5, and you press Enter. And here is the car that we want. You click on it, and here we go, we have the car in our scene. Like we did before, let's test the quality of this car using HDRI Magic. So I select my HDRI, accept, make DOM, and here we go, this is a beautiful car. I really like the tires on this one, and if you want, you can easily change its color. Let's go for pure black, yeah, so clean. Number 8, this Ford Mustang Boss 302 by Noodle Games. With its sleek design and impressive details, this classic muscle car is a true head turner and perfect for adding character to any scene. To grab it, you go on cgtrader.com, you create your free account, then you click on the link in the description that will take you to this page. You click on free download, you download the zip file, you need to extract this file on your hard drive to have the blend file. Just copy the path to this file, then in Blender you click on File, Append, you paste the path, you select the Mustang point blend file, you go in Object, and you select all the files starting with M, you click on Append, and voila! And to get things more organized, you can press M again to create a new collection, a new collection, and my car for example, so the car will be in the my car collection. Now let's see how it looks, and look at this beauty, this car is absolutely superb. Number 7, this BMW M340i by Mplex. This car is on Blender Kit, so we already have the add-on. You just search for BMW M340i, and normally that would be the first one. You click on it, and boom, here is the result in a scene. First, it's very easy to change its color, you just go in shading. So I will go for pure black, because I like the pure black. So here I will select black as well. I found that it's a very powerful design with aggressive lines, I really love it. Pick number 6, this Audi RS6 by Amadan Godot. 
This car is on CG Trader, so the link will be in the description. To get it, you just click on free download. You can download the blend file directly on this one, so you just click on download. And to import the car in your scene, you do as usual, file, append, and here you paste the path of the car. You select the Audi RS6, append, you go in object, you press A to select everything this time, and append again. Let's check the quality of the car. Its bold lines and dynamic design make this car a standout, perfect for scenes that demand both steel and power. I really like the headlights for this one, there are many details. The material of the car is really good as well, and as usual, it's very easy to change its color. So you just click here, and you select the second color, and voila. A very good car. Number 5, this Audi R8 Sport by AMG Viz. This car is on Blender kit as well, so in Blender, you search for Audi R8 Sport, and normally that will be the first one. You click on it, and you get this beauty in your scene. The black color and the carbon are just a perfect match for this car. It looks so aggressive. I mean, look at those lines, it's absolutely gorgeous. Number 4, this Maserati Ghibli Hybrid by Zero Design. In the Sketchfab add-on, you search for Maserati Ghibli, and normally that would be the only choice you have. You click on Import Model, you click Import, and you get the beast in your project. This is one of the most beautiful cars on the list. The details, the material, the quality, the design, the choice of the colors, everything looks professional. And here we go, we enter the top 3 cars. So in number 3, this incredible BMW M3. In the Sketchfab add-on, you search for BMW M3, and voila, normally it should be the first car. This classic beauty combines a timeless style with precise detailing, making it a must-have for any vintage car enthusiast. The quality is nuts, the material is really well done, and if we talk pure look, I think this is one of my favorites. I mean, look at this beast. Number 2, this Corvette C7 Stingray by Billy Mukadinov. To get it, you go on the Blender Kit add-on, and you search for Corvette C7, and it should be the first one. You click on it. This is a car I would be okay to pay for. Everything is professionally made. Look at the quality of the wheels, the tires, the reflection of the lights on the material. You can't be wrong using this car as a hero car in your projects. And finally, the winner is this Nissan GTR by NZN CG. You will get it on CG Trader. I will put the link in the description. You click on download. You can select directly the blend file, this one. Then you click on download. And to append it in your scene, we do like before. File, append, and here, you go in the directory of the file. You select the Nissan GTR, append, object. You select everything and append. Let's create a collection for this car. So M, new collection and let's name it GTR for example and create so the car is in the collection. Let's see how it looks with HGY Magic. Personally, I don't understand how this car is free. The quality, the details, the carbon, the wheels, the tires, the headlights. It's easy to change its color. Everything is there to make this car a masterpiece and to take the number one seed in my list. So before we continue, I would like to have your advice. What do you think? Do you agree with my list? Don't hesitate to comment and maybe to share your findings as well. For the rigging part, we are going to work with the Audi RS6 because it's one of the most complicated to rig. So believe me, if you manage to rig this car, you will be able to rig all the other cars. And for the rig, we are going to use the Rigger Car add-on. This is a free add-on created by David Geary. The official website is digicreators.net, but unfortunately, the add-on is not maintained anymore. Therefore, to help the community, I do fix it myself whenever it's needed. So you will find the last version of the add-on in the description. To work on a car, the rig needs the vehicle to have 5 to 9 different parts. If it has brakes, those parts should have specific names. I will write those names in the description. You have the body, you have the four different wheels, and the four different brakes if needed. And here with this Audi RS6, we have more than 128 parts, so it's not ready at all to be rigged. Let's fix that together. First, we will move all the parts concerning the body in a collection. So I will press 3 to be on the side, and I will go in wireframe mode, and I do activate the toggle X-ray as well. 
So you select all the parts. You should not select the wheels. Now I will press one maybe and shift and then we select those parts as well. Okay, we are missing some parts, but it's okay. Let's move already all those pieces. So new collection and let's name it body. I click on create. So now we have all those pieces in the body collection. Let's hide it, shift and you press this little I. Let's go back here on the side view. I will select the remaining pieces. This one, this one, shift, this one and M move to the body collection and this one as well m and body okay great so here we have the y direction and here the minus y so this is the left part of the car and this is the right part and this is the front and this is the back so first let's take care of the brakes so you select a brake like this and you go in edit mode by pressing tab and when you do that you notice that there is only one brake left it means that there is an array modifier so Let's go here in array modifier and yes, we have a mirror array. So we need to apply this first. Okay, and let's do the same maybe for the back wheels. Yes, it's the same. Okay, let's do it again. You select the brakes here. You go in edit mode and we want to separate those parts because we need those brakes to be separated. So I will select everything here and be sure to have the toggle X-ray activated and you press P and separate by selection. Okay, great. So now we have this part and we have this brake. Let's do the same for behind. So I select the brakes, tab, I select everything and P, separate by selection. Okay, nice. Now we have the four brakes separated. So let's give them the proper name. And once again, the names will be in the description. So this is the brake front left. So here, this is this part. I will name it. And behind, this is the brake back left. So this, this is the front right. So wheel brake, front right, and this is the back right. Okay, great, we have our four brakes. We don't need to see them anymore, so let's hide them. Shift, 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 and shift. Now, if we click on this tire, we notice that we have to separate those as well, and it will be the case for mini pieces. So it's gonna be very long to do that if we do that one by one. So instead, we are going to select everything here. We go in edit mode by pressing tab. Okay, we select everything again, this part. We press P and separate by selection. So now if I go back in object mode, I've got this wheel and I've got another wheel. So for this wheel, you select the rim and you select everything else. You press Ctrl and J to join and you do the same here, you select the rim you select everything else and Control and J to join. We do the same here. We select everything. We go in edit mode. Then we select this side, P, separate by selection. We go back in object mode, select the rim, select everything, Control G, select the rim, select everything, and Control J. So now we have four wheels separated. Let's give them a proper name. So this one, is the front left, so wheel front left. This one is the back left, so here, back left. And this one is the wheel front right, wheel front right, and this one is the wheel back right. Okay, so we have everything set up. And one more thing for the body, we also want only one thing. So let's display the body parts again. Shift and I click on this little icon, and I will click for example on this one, and you select everything and Control J, perfect. Now we only got one piece, let's name it body. Let's move the wheels in this collection as well. Select hierarchy and M, and I will move everything in the body collection. Okay, cool, now we can rename the body car. And those parts we don't need anymore because I don't know what it is. I will just delete those. Great, now we have our nine different parts, so our car is ready to be rigged. You download the Rigger Car add-on, once again, the link will be in the description. And to install the add-on, you go in Edit, Preferences, here Install from Disk, and it should be something like Rigger Car Fix Version 3, Install from Disk. Be sure to have the Rigger Car add-on activated. Okay, from there, we select everything, right-click, and set origin, origin to geometry. Once we did that, shift to A, armature, car deformation rig, 
Let's go back in wireframe mode. And here you have the different bones created for us, for the wheels, for the brakes, and for the body. So let's adjust the body bone. So here, you click on this little box. And for the body, you want this bone to be around here. What I mean is you want this little angle to cross the car around here, something like that on this corner. And maybe you want the middle of this ball to be just here aligned with the car. And don't worry if it's not really precise, it will work just fine. Once we are, once we are happy with the bones, you press N to display your add-ons. You go in the Rigo car add-on here and you click on generate. And voila, we have our rig installed on our car. So here we have the different bones that we can play with to animate our car. Great, now it's time to create a little animation. Okay, now let's create our first animation. The first step is to create a path that our car will follow. So let's do that. Shift A, curve and path. I will move this path around here to have a better view. And I will do a rotation of minus 90 degrees on the Z axis. And if you're not sure about the direction of your path, you just go in the edit mode by pressing tab. And here in this little icon, you activate the normals. So you will have those arrows to show you the direction. Okay, so let's work a little bit on our path. I want it to be a little bit longer. So I will move those points G and Y around here and those two as well, G and Y, okay, something like that. And I don't want those points to be that close to each other. I just want something even. Okay, let's do it a little bit longer. So G and Y, now it's a straight line, so it's a little bit boring. Let's add a little curve. I will create the curve around here. So you select this point, G and X, and like that, you create a curve. Now we have this curve. And maybe I want this point to be something like that. So it's a smoother. And before we continue, we need to apply the transformation of this path. So you select the path and Control and A and apply all transforms. It's a very important step if you want to avoid issues with your path. So now the goal is to attach our car to this path. And to do that, you select the rig and you go in a pose mode here object mode, you change to pose mode, or you can do that with your keyboard. You select the rig and control and tab to go in pose mode. You select the blue bone, okay? And then we select the blue bone here, bone constraints, not the green one, the blue one, bone constraints, add bone constraint, and we want to add a follow path. And here we select the path, this path, and we want to follow the curve, yes. And we want a fixed position. What is fixed position? Well, the offset factor will only go from 0 to 1. 0 being the beginning of the path and 1 being the end of the path. So it's much easier to animate our car this way. And here the forward axis is minus y, not y. So we have to update that here, minus y. We have everything set up. In frame number 1, you move your cursor around here on the offset factor and you press I on your keyboard, and that will insert a keyframe for the offset factor at frame one. So the position of the offset factor at frame one is zero. Now, let's go at frame, for example, 120, and I will move my offset factor to one this time. And as I told you, it will go at the end of the path, so one, and here I will add another keyframe. So I press I on my keyboard, and now if I test the animation, we have this. Cool. But the issue we have now is if you check closely the animation, there is no wheel rotation and there is no steering animation. So we need to fix that using the add-on. Here, you click on the Rigo car add-on and you click on big car steering that will animate automatically the steering for us. You press OK and you do the same for the wheels. So bake wheel rotation. Here you press this button and OK. So now if we check the animation, everything is good. We have the wheels and the steering animated. And this is how you create your first animation with your car in Blender. If you want to go further on car animation, there are a lot of tutorials on my channel. And if you need help, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. I hope you liked this video. I talk to you soon. Bye bye.